Buongiorno and Benvenuti to Italian Lessons with Gina. This is the ninth in a series of brief lessons aimed at teaching Italian to English speakers. Our topic for this installment is the verb avere and avere expressions. In all lessons, whenever it is necessary to mention a letter of the alphabet, the English name for that letter will be used. And whenever an Italian word is stressed on a syllable other than the next to the last, the stressed syllable will be underlined. A common verb in Italian that is irregular in the present indicative tense is the verb avere, which translates as to have. Here it is conjugated in the present tense. Io ho. Tu hai. Lui ha. Noi abbiamo. Voi avete. Loro hanno. As you might suppose, avere is used in many contexts in which an English speaker would use the verb to have, as in the sense of to possess. O molti libri. I have many books. Marco e Silvia hanno una bella casa. Marco and Silvia have a lovely house. Avete dello zucchero? Do you guys have any sugar? Non abbiamo un buon lavoro. We do not have a good job. When expressing physical, emotional, or mental states, English speakers always use the verb to be, followed usually by an adjective or sometimes by an adverb. I am well. We are unwell. You guys are happy. They are ugly. She is good. To express those same messages, Italians will use the verb stare plus an adverb for the ubiquitous question, how are you, come sta, and for its response. I am well is sto bene. We are unwell is stiamo male. But they will use essere plus an adjective for most other expressions of states of being such as in statements 3 through 5. You guys are happy is voi siete allegri. They are ugly is loro sono brutti. She is good is lei è buona. However, there is a group of statements that expresses certain physical, emotional, and mental states for which English will continue to use the verb to be plus an adjective, while Italian will use the verb avere plus a noun. Here is a list of some common avere expressions. The gender of some nouns is indicated where it is not obvious. To be hungry, avere fame. To be thirsty, avere sete. To be cold, avere freddo. To be hot, avere caldo. To be right, avere ragione. To be wrong, avere torto. To be in a hurry, avere fretta. To be sleepy, avere sonno. To be afraid, avere paura. To be so many years old. Avere anni. Let's use some of these avere expressions in example sentences. How old are you? Quanti anni hai? Literally, how many years do you have? I am 25 years old. Ho oh, 25 anni. 
Literally, I have 25 years. Angela is afraid of snakes. Angela ha paura dei serpenti. Luigi and Mariella are sleepy. Luigi and Mariella hanno sonno. Enrico is cold. Enrico ha freddo. Remember that since avere expressions employ nouns, if you wish to intensify the statement with the insertion of molto, molto will function as a four-form adjective modifying the noun in the expression. So, I am very hungry will be rendered as o oh, molta fame. Literally, I have a lot of hunger. Molto will change to molta in this case because fame is a feminine singular noun. When saying that something other than a person is cold or hot, such as water or tea, then the words freddo and caldo will be used as four form adjectives with the verb essere. Some examples l'acqua è fredda. Il tè è caldo. That's all for now. Alla prossima. Ciao. Estudiate bene.